Okay, so we're gonna, what we're showing here is a, a tool to generate uh, bills for uh, consignment items. So what we did was create a saved search in the background that uh, shows sales of specific items that are deemed consignment items. Uh, we have a little tool here that's gonna basically, it's a bulk processor to generate bills against the POs <clears throat> that those consignment items uh, were ordered on. And that way, uh, instead of someone having to go through and kind of cherry pick one by one uh, from the POs and, and do their own manual billing, we are, we're gonna help them by kind of giving them a little tool that will show them only the items that have been sold and see how you can select select specific uh, items or specific lines and, and generate the bills automatically. That's kind of the main solve here. But the other, the other thing that we're doing is um, we're allowing them to adjust the bill price. So in this scenario, what, what happens is the, Vendors sometimes increase their prices from the time of the uh, PO until when they're when they're ready to bill, and they've been received at a typically a lower price, but they can be received at a different price than what the new prices are. And what 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 happened? Just the SOP from the client standpoint is they update the purchase price on the item record. So we bring forth a new purchase price in that column where the numbers are in red to show where there's a, where there's a new price. When we allow them to update the PO price or the update the bill price. Yep, by clicking on that button right there. And uh, then the vendor bill will do the accounting to get the cost of goods sold correct. So essentially we're increasing the value and flowing it through to cost of goods sold. So let's kind of see how that works. All right, so there you go. We have six items and only five vendors. So we should have five vendor bills. Any, any errors that happen get reported here. Before last one should be the one with the two. Let's take a look at that one. Marco, good. All right, so this one did get billed at the PO price, and this one is a difference. And you can see those two lines in the expense tab. Yep. So what we're doing is we're reducing cost of goods sold because in this scenario the price has gone down. The way the way it worked for this client, because of course design the accounting however we what we'd want, but uh, for this client the purchase price variance, that second line there, we're debiting the account that they use for the variances. The reason we debit it here is because at month end, they're gonna use the NetSuite tool to write off variances, uh, those variants that sit in the inventory receipt not build account, which is also known as accrued purchases. So it's gonna do its thing to post a credit there. So we're kind of priming the system. We're setting up a debit here so that it'll net to zero when they do that native process because we're kind of already fixing it by routing the credit, the cost of goods sold. Yeah, so that's what, that's what we're doing here with these two lines. And at zero, so the AP amount is still the same, it's still what it's supposed to be. 